Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're doing a sit down video on why I started my gut health journey. But um, again, I'm not a health, you know, I'm not a doctor. This is literally just me talking to you guys about my experience and everything I've been through in the last year. It's been about a year now. Um, and like, why? How I even found out that like I had an issue with my gut. So for those of you that don't know, 70% of our immune system lives in our gut and everything is connected guys. Like no one really talks to us about all this. So that's why I'm just going to sit down and talk to you more. I'm, I'm going to explain to you like my personal journey and then you guys are going to take from it what you want. Everything's connected from your mood, energy, metabolism, like how you feel overall throughout the day. Um, on top of like the more obvious things like your digestion, you know, if you're having a lot of heartburn, if you have like acid reflux, if you're constipated, like clearly those are all, you know, that's what usually pops into your head when you think of like gut health issues but it's so much more than that, including like your skin, your, you know, some people suffer from like eczema and psoriasis and like migraines on a daily basis and you have inflammation. Um, guys, all of that stems from your gut health. So back, you know, um, backtracking to about a year ago, um, what made me realize or like to, what made me start questioning, like what's going on here? is um, the number one thing that I always notice, and this was going on for a few years, okay? So usually your body starts to give you signs that like something's not right, but we usually ignore them. And that's exactly what happened with me because I thought like, I'm exercising, I'm eating well, like I should be, you know, I'm like pretty healthy. One of the things that I noticed all the time is like, I was so cold. Like I was always cold and I felt like, it was in the middle of summer. I'm wearing like my big old robe. Everyone else is like in tank tops and like shorts and stuff. And I'm literally like bundled up super, super cold. I knew that that was not normal after a while. Cause I started, you know, just, it started becoming an issue where I had to get like a heated blanket and, um, I was just always wanting more weight on me. And then, um, the other thing that happened was I had ridiculously dry skin. So that to me was already, and when I mean dry skin, I mean like I would literally put coconut oil, avocado oil, I would put um, like this one, I forgot the name of it, but, but it's like a really thick lotion um, that I used to buy at Costco and that would help a little, but it was so dry that my skin would burn. So I was like, okay, this is not normal. But guys, that was not it. That happened for at least a solid year of like going through all of this. It wasn't until my hair started falling out that I was like, hold, hold up. <laughs> like I could deal with dry skin. I could deal with being cold, but like my hair falling out. And that is like an entire, like I could sit here and talk to you about that forever because it was so devastating to me, literally so disheartening and like, I couldn't even function. Like I was thinking about it day and night because it was so much like you guys know, I have really long hair my entire life. I've always like loved my um, hair. And so um, I started losing it and I don't want to call, I don't want to say clumps because I know like I hear that word a lot, like where people say like I was losing my hair in clumps. It wasn't clumps, but I would literally like wash my hair. And then when I would pull my hands out, like I would literally have like so much hair in between my fingers. And then like when I would brush my hair out, it was all in the brush. And honestly, it was just really, really scary. That's when I said, okay, there's something wrong with me. Like this is clearly not normal. And you guys know that I try to do everything holistically. So number one thing I started doing was researching, like what is going on here? So it turns out that I ended up uh, self-diagnosing myself at first, right? We all do it, including me. <laughs> and I realized that I was dealing with a thyroid issue. Now guys, when I tell you that I went through the ringer with this, that is almost like an understatement. It was insane. Um, let me know if you guys actually want me to go into details about 
all the issues that I dealt with when it comes to my thyroid. Um, right now, we're obviously talking about my gut health and um, that whole journey. But if you do want to see that video, comment down below. Let me know. Um, give this video a like because that's how you guys communicate with me and let me know what you guys want to see as well. So what I did to focus on healing my gut, I want to share with you what I did because um, it's very, it was very drastic. This wasn't a, this wasn't something where I was like, oh, you know what, like let's go ahead and start focusing on lowering our this or that. Like, no, this was like my body telling me, bro, t right now, like you have no choice but to heal your body. That's basically what it got down to. Um, I went to a holistic doctor immediately because I started feeling like extremely tired, like super fatigued. So I went to him and the first thing he told me, right? Eliminate gluten, eliminate dairy, eliminate processed foods. And this I had already um, saw online. So I was already thinking this is what I'm gonna do. But sometimes like you need someone, like a medical professional or someone to tell you to really get you to be like, oh my gosh, like I really have to do this. So that same day, legit through everything out and mind you like my house even my family makes fun of me because they say like i have no junk food in here but there's always little loopholes guys there's always like that gray area even with like healthy foods um and i had them i had a lot of things that definitely were processed um a healthier version of processed foods but it was still processed and there were some you know ingredients so I'm going to run you down like what I did. Number one thing, and I've been doing this for a while. If you're dealing with any of this, make sure that you are not using any vegetable oils, canola oil, um, any anti, I mean, any inflammatory oil. So it's like corn, corn oil, vegetable oil, soybean oil. Um, you know, there's a few others like grapeseed and sunflower and safflower, but the main, main ones that are usually in all of them, like if you go and get a dressing from your refrigerator right now, more than likely it has soybean or canola oil in it. Those two oils are super inflammatory. So I de definitely eliminated what I did have were dressings mayo so i don't know if you guys remember me starting to talk about like my mayonnaise because like i like mayo a lot i like it on tacos i like it on all my stuff so i switched over to an avocado mayo that was really hard for me that was really hard for me guys because i grew up with best foods my whole life and i love it <laughs> so getting rid of that was really hard but um i had to do it because my gut health at that point it was just so bad that I needed to do it. So long story short, make sure that you're not um, putting any of any oils, processed oils into your body. The next thing is just like high sugar foods, um, sugar, processed sugar, like regular cane sugar type deal, gluten and dairy. So those were really hard. The, the gluten wasn't too hard because I was almost gluten free already, but the dairy was definitely a huge thing for me because I love cheese and I used to, my coffee consisted of heavy cream and cinnamon. So you want to focus on clean ingredients. So like if you can't pronounce what's on the back of a label, like I would not even get it. And then like on top of all the other changes that I made, the one thing that I for sure incorporated daily, um, it's basically what I broke my fast with on a daily basis was bone broth. So you guys hear me talk about bone broth on Instagram all the time because it's seriously a huge part of my life. Um, and if you guys are not already making bone broth, then I'll leave a link to the bone broth that I use down below. Um, and for the most part, any of the things that I, that I talk to you guys about, you always can use low carb love at checkout and you do get a discount um, by using my code. So bone broth is one of the things that guys, even if you're not on a gut health journey, bone broth is something that you should just incorporate into your life because it has a ton of collagen protein it's gut healing it helps with inflammation it helps you stay satiated so many different things okay so bone broth is a great um is huge for gut healing another thing is have is taking a prebiotic so i take both a prebiotic and a probiotic in one 
Um, you guys have heard me talk about these. Um, they're by Seed. They're amazing. They've helped me so much with inflammation, um, with like my digestion, so many things that I've um, that I've already noticed. I know it's kind of like TMI, so I wasn't gonna say it, but like even becoming more like regular. <laughs> um, so if you have any issues like that, or if you don't already have a really solid probiotic and prebiotic, this is actually, I have it here. It's, um, it's actually two in one. So you have both in here. I don't know if you could see the little capsule because it's tiny, but there is a capsule inside. So the prebiotic feeds your gut bacteria because we need to feed our healthy bacteria, guys. We are all made up of bacteria, okay? So you it feeds your gut bacteria, but there's a small capsule inside that actually makes it all the way down to your colon. It's a first of its kind because usually um, our stomach acids dissolve, dissolve it, so it never makes it down to the colon. So this one actually does, and it feeds all the little bacteria that needs to be fed down there. So as a matter of fact, um, should take it now. I usually take it either in the morning on an empty stomach or like right now um, that my stomach's empty, I take it at night. But either way, just as long as you take it once a day, it's all you need. But um, this is called a symbiotic because it has both a prebiotic and a probiotic in one. So we will take it here together. Um, these are usually sold out and there is a waiting list, but right now um, I'll leave the link down in the description below. It should be available. So here we go, two. I started off with one, but I've now graduated to two, so. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I make sure that I have this every single day, no matter what, traveling here at home. I take my probiotic and prebiotic, my bone broth. Um, I like to have my protein, make sure that I, um, I am having my protein and healthy fats because what that does, it helps um, it helps me from snacking on junk food. So eliminating all the unhealthy ingredients and incorporating healthy ingredients was huge for my, you know, to heal my gut. But there's a few other things that people usually don't talk about that are so important. Um, and one of them is sleep. So I'm the type of person that has always said like, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I am not, the, I am not that person. Like I do not even like sleeping for real. Like I go to bed super, super late, wake up super, super early. Like I never feel like there's enough time in a day. And that caught up with me, really, really caught up with me. So um, I had to literally from one day to the next, I had to start sleeping at least eight hours. And that made me feel start feeling a little better. Another thing that I did not realize was literally harming my, my health, my overall health was stress. And we hear about it all the time, right? And you're like, oh, okay, okay. But um, I never in my life thought that it was literally gonna catch up with me. And I'm not the type of person that feels like overly stressed, but um, you know, everything from work to like really just trying to juggle so many things at one time from work to like mom life and then I have Donnie and then I have, you know, like projects here and there and like travel. And it was just like so much all together that I didn't realize I was burning out my adrenals. And, and yeah, it was just, it was crazy. So I'm telling you, my body was, I really felt like my body was shutting down. Like I could not get out of bed two days after I went to go see that holistic doctor. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really happening to me. Like, this is what people deal with, with like, I felt like I was dealing with a combination of like stress, depression, like anxiety. I felt like so many different emotions all like at once. And I could not believe that it was all stemming from my gut health. And it's crazy, right? Cause you think like, what does depression have to do with your gut health or what does, you know, um, anxiety or your metabolism or, but it all, it all comes like it's all connected. All right guys. So I hope that wasn't all over the place for you. I really just wanted to share my experience just so that, you know, maybe you guys aren't even considering, you know, starting a gut health journey. And if that's the case, then, you know, that's fine. But maybe you can just start making small changes because I just don't want it to catch up with you guys like it did me. And it literally just like slapped me in the face one day. And it was just really, really hard. And I'm like a really strong person and I feel like I can deal with so much. 
but this was like really crazy. So um, I just don't want you guys to go through that. And if it's something that you can, you know, like benefit from just kind of seeing my experience, um, then, you know, that makes me happy. But one thing that I would say is if you guys aren't going to start making a lot of changes right now, cause you know, it's just not your thing. I would say you could at least start incorporating a prebiotic and probiotic into your life, which I take seed and it's been amazing. I'm telling you, it helps with inflammation, with your digestion. It's just gonna make you feel good overall. It's immune boosting. So that's at least one thing that you can do. This and bone broth is, you know, you can at least walk away from this video and do those two things that are gonna be beneficial to your body and just make you feel good overall. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down below. I'm more than happy to talk to you guys about my experience with my thyroid journey. And um, yeah, a lot of what I went through with that, which is crazy. Um, my hair health journey after that, a lot, there's a lot of different things that I could talk about, but I wanna hear what you have to say. So comment down below, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.